Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Martian Toy Reviews. This week we review Captain America, Battlefield Captain America, Captain America, Heavy Artillery Captain America, and Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Stay tuned, because if you don't, Matt will run over a frog. Before we get to reviewing action figures, let's look at some previews. First up with previews, we have the DC Direct Mad Batman Black and White statue. This is another one of the Batman Black and White statue series, this time with the bad ba Mad Batman that kind of looks like Adam West. Uh, this thing measures about six and a half inches tall, seven and a half inches wide. It's uh, pretty hefty and it's cold cast porcelain. It should be out in January 2012 and runs about $90. All right, up next on the preview docket is the Transformers Dark of the Moon Ultimate Optimus Prime. This guy's going to be available in June of this year for about $80, and he is the biggest, best, most badassest Optimus Prime ever. Think of the biggest Optimus Prime you've seen and add like a millimeter to it just to barely, barely make it above. It's really kind of fun. <coughs> He comes with a cool trailer on the back that transforms so he can become robot butterfly mode, I guess. Whatever. Michael Bay, holy shit. Alright, next up we have Jeremy, who is not only our infield reporter, he is also a toy hunter extraordinaire. Hey, this is Jeremy and we're outside of Target here. We're going to go inside and take a look around and see what they got. Okay guys, so we're in here. We're trying to find some good stuff. Spurglor, it's like the hide stuff down here. So you gotta get down and look. So you get down here and you just kind of dig through. Let's see, no, we don't need any wrestling belts. Oh, look at this over right here. Wrestling, wrestling, garbage. Oh my. Holy shit, what is it, what is it? Look at this. Price, $14.98 clearance. You gotta watch this Spurgle hide stuff. This is a Bravo Team tank. I mean, this is a massive tank. Normally $30 for 15 bucks. I mean, the detail on this is absolutely amazing. This is better than most actual Joe tanks. 15 bucks, well, I'll have to hide that for later. There we go. Great job, Jeremy. I always knew you would do some of your best work on your hands and knees. Once again, it's contest time brought to you by Tommy Martian Toy Reviews and RadarToys.com. We're giving away not just one, but two Blackest Night action figures to the same person for winning. All you have to do is visit Facebook.com backslash Radar Toys and submit up to three photos of your toy collection onto the wall along with a message saying what you love and enjoy about your collection the most. Now the top three entries will be selected by RadarToys.com. Us here at Atomic Martian Toy Reviews will be selecting the winner of the contest. And the winner will receive not only the Yellow Lantern Scarecrow Black as Night figure, but also the Black Lantern Flash figure. You will not be judged based on the number of figures in your collection, but the creativity of the photos and your comments. All photo entries will be submitted to the RadarToys.com Wall of Fame. There's no purchase necessary and all entries must be submitted by June 8, 2011. Alright, now the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time for reviews. Re- Views. Reviews. Who do you want to kick it with? Let's do all of them. I, I feel dangerous. I feel all wild. at once. Yeah, all at once. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Hell oh, yeah. The three way. Who might right. pick one? Three way. Oh, shit. All right. All right. What do you got, Matt? All right. I got the Battlefield Captain America, or as comic fans would know him, Ultimate World War II Captain America. This is the Captain America that was in the Ultimates comics in World War II, so this is exactly how he appeared. All... Cool World War II-y. All yeah. caught slightly steampunkish. Yep. Machine gun. He's probably got a pack of Lucky Stripe cigarettes that he's smoking and telling little kids about. Because at the time, back in the 40s, that was cool. Yep. Yeah. Still is. What are you talking about? Mm. I got the Winter Soldier with snap-open snap jetpack. 
Um, I don't know when this guy came out. I guess it's the modern version of Winter Soldier. That's what it looks like. Yeah. And um, I don't know. He's pretty cool. He's Bucky. Super sweet. And I've got heavy artillery, Captain America, with a launching missile. And he won't carry a gun, but he'll carry a humongous missile. He will carry missile. a humongous <laughs> missile. The guns are where he draws the line, God damn it. Right? <laughs> right? He's trying to cut down on violence. Missiles stop it from happening. They're the deterrent. Yeah, yep. you see a gun, you're like, I could, you, a gun, you're like, I could dodge it. A missile? No, because even if you dodge the missile, you got the explosion to deal with. Yeah, that's right. Deal. Anyway, this is, the, this is pretty much the OG comic version of Cap. I mean, this is mm -hmm. what everybody knows, so that's why I picked yep. him up. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah. So these are three out of four of the first wave of the three and three quarter inch figures. There's also an ultimate Captain America, which none of us bought. So. No. But anyway, I don't know. I say we get them open and check let's them out. Do it. See how they do it all at once, like all together. Yeah, let's do it all, all together. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas morning, man. Oh, this is crazy. Crazy! 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 crazy. Something to see. <laughs> you know they, call, like, shield they, can, they come out of the package really easily. Yeah, yeah, really right. Holy shit, Brick. That's, That's awesome. awesome. What? Maybe. Oh, yeah. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, my. I think I know what you're saying. Hold up. I love the fact that, like, Hasbro has, has uh, lim sort of limiting the number of rubber bands they, they put on the figures now. <laughs> For a while, they, they would put, like, 50... 50,000 on per figure, but now there's like one That's or like none. The fact that like, they, like certain weapons that you know are like really bendable, like guns or swords or whatever, yeah. get like sandwiched in between two sheets of plastic so that of course they're going to get jacked up in the package. Yeah, yeah. as soon as you like, take that. God, uh, this, this gun is flimsy. It's like pure rubber. Look at this. <laughs> I don't feel this one. Oh, wow. I don't know. <laughs> I'm writing my name with it. That's how strong he is. He's just going to bend your gun in half. Yeah. Fuck you, Nazis. Yeah. I like a Winter Soldier has like a Luger type gun. He, he's rocking the. Yeah, did he join the wrong side? Russia, man. He was Russian. Yeah. He was straight. He wasn't yeah, really Russian. War. He turned Russian. Yeah, he got captured and brainwashed by the Russians. Yeah. It fucking sucks. I hate it when that happens. It yeah. happened to me all the time. Too. Yeah. I hate whenever yeah. that happens. Wednesdays, man. I always get bummed on Wednesday yeah. after the show. Like, you go to an all day I spa. I and it thinks you will leave like till four days later. I go to an all day spa on Thursday and wake up and it's Wednesday. <laughs> 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 just like Zoolander. Yeah. yeah. One thing I really like about the Winter Soldier is he's he's not, he's not like Captain America. He's not afraid to have a gun. He's not afraid to shoot somebody in the face if he has to. Yeah. And he's not afraid to have a mullet either. He's not afraid to rock a mullet. Sometimes you know you can't reason with people. You just gotta pull a gun out and shoot them right in the face. Sometimes that's how you the best way to reason with people. That's, yeah. That's, that's how you get business yeah. done. That's yeah. like they're like that's gonna be five ninety nine for that combo, sir. And Matt's like, pulls out the gun, he's like, is it? Yep. And they're like, no, it's not. He's like, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. And he runs out of the store before the security camps can catch up. Mm. Yep. Mm. That, is, that's, um, that is Thursday afternoon for me. It's yeah. lunchtime. Yeah. Right before the day spawn. And I like that uh, Captain America comes with this ginormous um, like missile launcher like... that fits on his wrist. But good God, that thing's like half the size of him. Yeah. That. Well, you could use it as like the third leg to stand him up if you need to. Yeah. You know, if, he, if he doesn't stand up very well, you can always have him just. You can paint it green and make it green lantern. Like when your soldier came with a, this holster and this gun and everything, it's very realistic looking. It looks like it should come, oh, no. come out. No, oh. no, it's just molded there. Oh, <laughs> say bees. They they learn a trick or two from those Halo figures. Yeah. I'll uh, see. World War Two cap's pretty cool. He's got the removable helmet and yeah. then his weird like crazy leather like pyro helmet on. Yeah. yeah. Captain uh, America here is pretty cool. Let me take this missile launcher off. He's actually got a peg built into the shield. So oh! Pop it on yeah. his back, and this then you too. swivel it and put it on his wrist. Nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I like how the shields are all shiny, too. They, yeah, they, yeah, they, they like kind of a metallic look to them. I think it's cool that Winter Soldier could carry his uh, jetpack around like a briefcase if he needs it. His little handle cool, on the top dude. of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my luggage. I'm just taking it with me. Just hop it on the plane. Hop it on the plane with a sniper rifle and my luggage. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm totally cool. That's what airport yeah. security was before 9-11. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bin Laden. Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy's awesome. He does look really cool. I was really pleased with yeah. like, looking he at him. Cool. He looks beast. Like, I remember seeing seeing the figure, like pictures of the figures and everything and being like, oh man, that guy looks awesome. I can't wait to get him. He's going to look perfect with one T.I. Joe guys too. Yeah, you put him on top of a tank leading him into battle. Oh, yeah, right? hell yeah, man. Yeah. God, they did not spend any money on these legs. These legs are horrible. 
Yeah, the knees feel like they're going to break. I yeah. know, dude. They do, yeah. This one does, too. I'm not sure. Like, I'm afraid to bend his knee, because I'm afraid he's going to, like, just, like, I'm not rip. sure how I feel about these, um... Yeah, I'll see yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about these knee joints on that one. Or not this one's joints, actually balls. much stronger. Yeah, check that oh, one. Oh wow, those are super weak. You weren't lying. Oh, yeah, but I don't know how I feel about the um, joints there at the thighs and the lower torso. Yeah, yeah dude, those things are bothering me because I'm having a lot of problems with the posing. As far as a lot of problems here with posing, it's kind of weird. You have to like position it. And it's not very natural. You, you bought this figure, not me. <laughs> Thanks. How's your hey, you're sucked too. Right. <laughs> well, US Angel is pretty sweet though. Like they all look really good is the thing. So that's that's nice. Really great. Yeah, display. they do. Yeah, they're good they for display. Like they're about to, they just kind of feel like their parts of them are about to break. Yeah. In there. Okay. How's the missile on this thing? Oh, pretty shitty. Oh my god, this doesn't uh, even come out. <laughs> I swear to god, this never happens to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me see. The- let me see Winter Soldier. <laughs> there you go. Trey, we have a Oh, you already saw this. Yeah. Oh. Switch. I'm back to this shitty Lego. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta Same. admit, this Winter Soldier is cool, but I'm like, what the hell does he need a sniper rifle and a jetpack for? Is he gonna sit there and be like, jetpack? Boom. And they'd be like, sniping people from the jetpack. You've never done, <laughs> I mean, you've never that, done that like Halo or anything? You know, that action, dude? You know, you jump off the cliff and you're just like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's Captain shot. America. I used to pull that shit in Goldeneye all the time. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> I think they had jetpacks in Goldeneye. No, they didn't. No. <laughs> 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 the missile fire action is just so unbelievably <laughs> terrible, you feel like it's going to change. Oh, it doesn't even, even if I point it straight down, the pull of gravity. Gravity. <laughs> Oh, there, it finally went. <laughs> Fuck gravity. God damn, these figures suck. They're bad. The quality control of these things look are look terrible. I, I think, think those two look cool. way better. But they like, look way better, but they, you know, what are we going to do with his, with really his like, jacked up legs? Was, like, his partially separate. <laughs> oh, it's a stink bug. Oh, shit. Whatever. Yeah. I, I, he can smell the, yeah, the Captain of the American figures. <laughs> He fly away. Yeah, he just. Yeah. Oh, wow. Even he doesn't want to partake in this shit. No, he's like, oh god, this stinky. This guy's stink even more crazy legs are running for his money. I know he does have crazy legs. Man, this is really disappointing. He's got crazier legs than that. I mean, I, I noticed some like really bad paint app issues with a lot of the figures when I looked at them in the stores, but yeah, I did not realize there was gonna be like joint problems issues. and issues with the legs and knees. Because that guy's. I'm looking at the paint apps on this one. It looks. Pretty clean. Yeah, well, I mean, I looked, to be honest. That's right, you probably looked through like do, 15 of them before you found one that looked when, great. When right? I, whenever I buy figures anymore, I'm so fickle. Yeah. Or, uh, I'm so discerning. I always go, if there's like, tw- if there's 12 boxes of figures, I go through all 12 mm-hmm. of them to see which one's the best, and then I take it. Well, it's like that, that Kmart exclusive three pack. I, I went through about 12 of them, and not a single one, like, passed my. <laughs> my <laughs> quality recommendation, so I didn't get any of them. Yeah. I mean, this I was like, they all look like crap. Good. Yeah, that, yeah, he looks great. That figure looks great. Yeah. Yeah. I had about three of these to choose from, and I had about two or three of those to choose oh, from. Oh, yeah, so. lucky. I had a bunch of the caps yeah. to pick from, and that one was definitely the best looking one. Yeah. I, I, I seriously do not see what you hate about this figure. I don't either. Um, maybe the fact that like, he moved his forearms are stuck in the let's, <laughs> yeah. let's go biking. But it's a lot better than the Green Lantern figures where you <laughs> <laughs> even have elbow articulation. They just. <laughs> uh, who wants to do the robot? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants, to party? Who wants to party in the 60s and 80s? Yeah. I mean, these guys are definitely a step up from the Green Lantern three and three quarter inch figures. Yeah. But, I mean, they... Should out Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I don't understand with these companies. Look, why is it so difficult to make good quality movie line figures? I don't understand. I, you know, the X-Men, uh, or the X or the Wolverine Origins movie line, that was really good. The but they were basically Marvel Universe, like, repaints. They were better than Marvel. I thought they were yeah, better they as far as articulation. Yeah, they did a lot of yeah. yeah, they did better sculpting and better... Articulation and stuff, and the Iron Man stuff was pretty decent, but now like yeah, the Captain really America like Thor move, like figures are just looking. Kind and of the Green Lantern figures look terrible. Yeah, and... yeah, I don't know what Mattel was thinking with those Green Lantern figures, especially when like, honestly, I mean, if Mattel, if Mattel, if Hasbro did GL figures that look like this, they that would be great. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, we wouldn't be Hasbro... bitching nearly as much. Yeah, <laughs> no, so I don't get it. I don't know. Sometimes. Sometimes it's hit and miss. But it but, seems yeah, like it's gotta, miss more, more, more often than hit when it comes to movie lines. Yeah. I was going to say, sometimes when like the miss is so big, I'm like, what in the hell made you guys think this was a good idea? Yeah, I mean, why couldn't they just like did like minor re-sculpting of some G.I. Joe figures and, and then made them Captain America? Yeah. <laughs> you know, why can't, why can't they have the same quality as like the Pursuit of Cobra or G.I. Joe's? Oh, uh, yeah. 
Oh, probably because then you have to pay to almost twice as much. What did for the quality? Most I think I think part of it has to do with the fact that you, they have to pay licensing rights. Well, they have to pay licensing rights for Marvel Universe too, and yeah. the Marvel Universe figures are much better quality than most of these. See, I think this is better quality than the Marvel Universe figures I don't know, I don't to know. an extent. Because it's not as I think I like this cap. I've never, I never, I never like handled a Marvel Universe figure that I was afraid it was going to break. Like five minutes after I opened, took it out of the package. <laughs> you know. Oh, I my don't know. oh my friend, you haven't you haven't lived that. <laughs> well, they've been around for a long time though, and they yeah, definitely they improved. They've improved years. the figures. But I mean, this is 2011, and the Marvel Universe figures that are coming out in 2011 compared to those are much better quality. How much? Now maybe the first first wave of these. Like what? These the ones were like six ninety nine. Yeah, they're like six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Yeah. It was a stink bug. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. Which is much, yeah. You could have, you could have just as easily Price smashed one. Like ah, smell it, bitch. <laughs> okay, that. Well, that would have been. Thanks for giving me the idea. Now yeah, the next time it flies, lands on you. I'll grab a toothpick and just stab it and put it in your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want to take a taste, Matt? Let's smash them with this Captain America thing and they'll both break. <laughs> <laughs> This doesn't even make sense as an artillery yeah, piece. I don't, get no. why, I don't get why they... Well, it looks like a marker. Gave, yeah, they? it does, yeah. Marker with some paper mache here. I think they gave... Well, just like anything with like those Iron Man figures, they gave them stuff like that just to give them an accessory. Yeah. yeah. Just to make to it justify good. charging you $8 for the yeah. piece of junk. Because for little, they think little kids have to have that stuff. Even when I was a little kid, most of the time I lost those things. Yeah. So, yeah. wow. Like, it's really disappointing. Because I was really looking forward to all these too. So I'm not as disappointed. I don't know. I'm not I'm as, as disappointed as the Green Lantern figures and no, the Thor figures. Yeah. The Thor figures I thought looked really bad too. Yeah, I had no I like. To I'm really disappointed with this guy right now because of that. Obviously, because his legs are off. His legs. Captain America's uh, growing on me. The look is starting to grow a little bit more. I dig Winter Soldier. I do. Winter I like Soldier the Winter Soldier a lot too. I think he's by far the best one. So far, I think these two are pretty cool. That guy's not as nice. Yeah, he started out, coming out of the gate. He looked like a strong favorite. And then as you look closer and closer, you're like, wow, what a piece of shit. Yeah. I know. Got I'm so disappointed about oh, too. He's got good detail on it all. Good yeah. detail. Yeah. Poor execution on some of the parts. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, it could just be this one that they yeah. really fucked up the knees on or whatever. But I don't know, man. That's that's depressing. <laughs> Any closing thoughts on these figures? I mean, I think we pretty much hit most of everything. Yeah. Um. Let me see here. I'll talk about this Captain America real quick. I, you know, to be honest, I actually do kind of dig him. All in all, I think he's he's not bad. Yeah, I like at all. the look has slowly grown on me. Yeah, I think, I think he's as a jealous a, little bitch is what it is. No, man. it's the, the look <laughs> that I'm using him. for Captain America versus that one. I think as a U.S. agent figure, which I'm sure that'll be in the next wave. Like that's going to be the exact same thing. Yeah, as U.S. US agent, it'll look fantastic because that's what I've always pictured him as a bigger guy that has to work out more because he's not a super soldier. No, he's not. He does have super strength though. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, I really dig the figure. Um, I especially like. That it has a little peg and insert on the back for you to stick his shield. Like yeah, that's a nice little feature. That's what yeah. nice. I like that. It doesn't have like weird straps that you. Yeah, have those straps they do with all the Marvel Universe figs. Yeah, instead they, they give him that cool clip. Fast. Yeah, so they give him the cool little clip there, so that he can put that on his arms. Mm -hmm. uh, all in all, I really dig this figure. Yeah. I know that Matt's kind of down on it. The my biggest thing, but the biggest con to me is the fact that he doesn't have a um, the swivel. forearm swivel. Because that would yeah. just kind of bring it up another notch for me. Yeah, I'm so I was surprised they didn't have a swivel uh, or seam joint. I'm sorry, in the forearm or the legs. Yeah. I was surprised that they didn't have them there. It's not so bad with the legs because at least the they, feet they do the swivel yeah. on the feet. So and it is his much. hip. Yeah, which so that I could even about. stand a swivel just on his hands. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, stupid stink man. I like the crazy. fact that the Winter Soldier. That he comes with an accessory, the briefcase jetpack, that actually makes sense for what he used to, what he, what he is the Winter Soldier is. He's like a hitman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Nice. Too bad he's still alive. Yes, yeah, he fucks never. Oh, maybe they'll. Oh, he's they're back with a vengeance too. He's like, I'll oh, sue you, motherfucker. They're the new cockroaches. They are, man. Yeah, dude, he's God. Except they don't just go to poor people's houses. No, they go to everyone's house. <laughs> I know, dude. You cannot get rid of these things. They just come in as soon as you open the door and you don't even realize it. I know. Uh, like, I'll still find them listen, in the winter time. It would be like 20 the, degrees outside and they're fucking in my house still. Damn. I wonder if you could hit the camera with it. Oh, uh, I was aiming. Yeah. You know, even the thing about getting at the house is one of the, you can buy them at Home Depot, the little bug lamp that fries them. Yeah. So, I wonder if Those things are gross, though. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Know. You have to empty it. Anyways, as I was saying with this guy, um, I honestly, you know, first I want you to buy them, but I kind of like him the best because the accessory makes sense. It's not a magic marker. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, it turns into a jet. It's a briefcase that turns into a jetpack, so it makes sense. Yeah, it's cool. He looks really like good it. too. Yeah, and he's he's by far better looking than the uh, Marvel Universe uh, Winter Soldier figure that they released like what, last year. Yeah. Um, like late two thousand. Way, way, way better figure. Just the detail. I mean, he's very similar in appearance. You know, the same costume and everything, but the head sculpt is much better than that. Yeah. Figure. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, that one just looks. I like the look of the figure. I think the figure looks really cool. I like the the nostalgic World War Two yeah. armor and and in fact, one of the first uh, screenshots they showed of um of the movie was him wearing this armor. And I, I think he wears a similar armor throughout a large portion of the yeah. movie actually. Um, and I think this armor looks awesome. I think it's a really really cool um, rendition of Captain America. Um, and it makes sense to me. It makes more sense than that. Yeah, you know, from, like from World War II. exactly yeah. in World War Two. That's one of um, the big things when Brian Hitch came up with that for the, in yeah. the early two thousands. That design was like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, this is a really cool design. Um, the execution on this particular figure, though, is is Not terrible so. for the most part. Um, well, you know, they wanted to add, if I may interject, yeah. they added all that articulation. It's like they went overboard. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it makes They went so far with the articulation that it kind of ended up hurting the That and also they just use cheap it. parts. You know, you can just tell. You can feel the, the plastic. You can tell the plastic is just a cheap, so lower soft. quality. It's very soft plastic. Um, the feet aren't even connected properly. I don't know. It's just... It's really disappointing. Um, but aesthetically... You know, if you if you just display your figures and you just stand them up on a shelf or whatever, and you can you can put them in some really cool poses with the shield and everything like that, and he'll look really nice. It'd be really but, nice if they came with a display stand. I think. Yeah, it That's would be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like but I really kind of feel bad if any kids end up getting this figure because it is such poor quality that I have a feeling that um, it'll be very disappointing for most kids. Being a pagan it's g- it's gonna be end up breaking. It's gonna like get a, it's gonna get a bad reputation. All right, well, that's, that's, I guess that's that's it. That's Captain America. Russia. These are the first of probably many Captain America figures we'll be reviewing this summer. So. I'm hoping that the rest will be kind of better. I'm, I'm, ho- I'm hoping, I, I have high hopes for Wave 2. I, yeah. Wave 2 looks really good, um, but most of the stuff from Wave 1, I'm not impressed with, especially the larger figures and a lot of the vehicles look really yeah. bad, too. So. The vehicle figures look really bad. Yeah, the vehicle figures look really bad, too. So. All right, well, thanks for watching this exciting, awesome episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. Um, I hope you enjoyed our reviews of our less than spectacular Captain America figures that we purchased. Um, I don't know. Don't forget to check out our sponsors and affiliates. You know, like RadarToys.com. TShortPradella.com. Yeah. Yep. And who else? Tenacious Toys. There we go. One day. One of these days you will remember. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Tenacious, who gives a damn? Good stuff. There was yeah. that affiliation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah, that we were. Benny's not gonna <laughs> return my emails now. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Forgot that. Uh, we were filming the outro. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, um, the website. Website. Oh yeah, TomMerchants.com. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Don't forget about our contest. Our RadarToys.com contest. Uh, submit your sweet. photos of your awesome collection and. And uh, win some Blackest Night figures. Yeah, so. let's see. I want to see those toy collections and how awesome they are. That's right. I want to see something that puts mine to shame. Yep, yeah. show us your junk. That's what I say. Not your junk, your toy junk. Yeah. Not your toy junk. Your, your plastic toys. junk. Not junk. No, I don't want to see that either. I want to see your toys, your action figure collectibles. Mm-hmm. All right? Let's get it straight. No freaky shit. Yeah. yeah. Not the toys your wife keeps in her top dresser. Sure. Yeah, for when you go out of town. Yeah, yeah. behind the underwear. The or fresh. when you're in the, your basement playing with your toys. Actually, <laughs> 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 you're she plays with hers, man. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> Let's see what's got fresh batteries tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, when it's gonna be my turn. <laughs> <laughs> but you were too busy playing with your little action, man. They're action figures. They're not dolls. <laughs> <laughs> dolls. <laughs> Well, it's a vibrator, not a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, Peace. thank you for watching well, episode right 26. Uh, be sure to catch us next week when we review probably not Captain America figures. Probably Green Lantern. Yeah, we'll probably be back to Green Lantern. <laughs>